Now to a bombshell phone call between President Trump and the Georgia Secretary of State over election results. The tape conversation from yesterday captures the president's latest attempt to change the outcome of the election. Georgia has conducted three different recounts, all of which reaffirmed Joe Biden's victory. But the president isn't backing down. Here's John Finolio. And the people of Georgia are angry. The people of the country are angry. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated. Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the data you have is wrong. In a phone call obtained by the Washington Post, President Trump can be heard pressuring Georgia's Republican Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, to find him enough votes to overturn the presidential election. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. So, so tell me... Brad, what are we going to do? Uh, we won the election, and it's not fair to take it away from us like this. And it's going to be very costly in many ways. And I think you have to say that you're going to reexamine it, and you can reexamine it, but, but reexamine it with people that want to find answers, not people that don't want to find answers. According to The Post, the conversation was recorded yesterday. At one point during the hour-long call, the president suggests that Raffensperger could be charged with a criminal offense for not reversing the election results. You should want to have an accurate election, and you're a Republican. We believe that we do have an accurate election. No, I no, you don't. No, no, you don't. You don't have, you don't have, not even close. You got, you're off by hundreds of thousands of votes. You know what they did and you're not reporting it. That's a, you know, that's a criminal, that's a criminal offense. And, and, you know, you can't let that happen. That's, that's a big risk to you and to Ryan. Your lawyer. The bombshell audio comes just two days before a pair of Georgia Senate runoff races that will determine which party controls the Senate. And it comes just three days before a joint session of Congress to certify state electoral college votes for President-elect Joe Biden's victory. A dozen senators led by Texas Republican Ted Cruz say they plan to oppose the certification of the votes. The president's call drawing bipartisan outrage. Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger tweeting, This is absolutely appalling to every member of Congress considering objecting to the election results. You cannot, in light of this, do so with a clean conscience. Restore our GOP. California Congressman Adam Schiff also weighing in, tweeting, Trump's contempt for democracy is laid bare, once again on tape. Pressuring an elected official to find the vote so he can win is potentially criminal and another flagrant abuse of power by a corrupt man who would be a despot if we allowed him. We will not. President-elect Kamala Harris campaigning for Democrats in Georgia called President Trump's actions a bold and blatant abuse of power. No word yet from President-elect Biden.